Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create an OPC US server to expose your machine or plant data using Node-RED. So here I've got this little demo station and on this station I've got a conveyor system with a stepper motor that is being driven by this Opto22 industrial controller. And this conveyor system is on top of a weighing platform with a load cell weight sensor connected to this weighing indicator and transmitting data to the industrial controller via RS-232. So what we want to do is to create an OPC US server that describes a data structure representing this demo station to allow an OPC UA client to browse through it. First of all, let's look at this graphically. So we have a demo station and our demo station has a conveyor system and a weighing platform. Further, our conveyor system has a stepper motor and our stepper motor has two properties, motor speed and motor status. On the other hand, our weighing platform has a load cell and our load cell has a single property, which is weight. So I've already got node red running on my Windows PC here. And what you're looking at is the floor for creating the OPC UA server. So the first thing that I installed is an Opto22 node red package that allows me to read tags from the Opto22 industrial controller. And using that, I'm reading the motor speed, the motor status, and the weight from our controller after every three seconds. And then I'm setting the output of my up to 22 nodes as global variables so that I can access them anyway on my NetRed platform. And then here on this function block, I'm reading those global variables and then passing them on to my OPC UA server node. Now I've already installed this OPC UA node red package. It's called the IoT OPC UA toolbox and you can find it on this web page. And then once it is installed, you can get your OPC UA IIoT Flex Server node right here, which you can drag onto your node red canvas. So I'll go ahead and double click on this node to edit its properties. So the first thing that I've done here is to set the port number for my OPC UA server, which is 55480. And then to describe our machine data, we go to the address space tab. So here I've got a function that is based on the example that comes with this package. So first of all, we perform some initialization here. And then we initialize tags from our controller, which is the motor speed, motor status, and the scale weight. And then we start to build our data structure by first creating a root folder. And then inside that root folder, we create a folder called demo station. And then inside our demo station folder, we create two folders, conveyor system and weighing platform. And then inside our conveyor folder, we create a folder to hold our stepper motor components. And we call that folder stepper motor. And then inside our wire folder, we create a folder to hold our load cell components and we call it load cell. Okay, and when that is done, we then start to create the nodes that hold the actual machine values. The first one here is for motor speed. First, we specify the folder inside which to put it, which in this case is the stepper motor folder. And then we specify its browse name which is essentially its display name. And then we set the node ID and the data type. And then here we've got two functions. 
one for getting the value of motor speed and another one for setting the value of the motor speed okay and then we do the same for motor status and the weight but for our weight value we'll put it inside the load cell folder okay that's it now we can go ahead and deploy our opc ua server now to test that we have successfully created our server we need to use an opc ua client the opc ua client that i'm going to be using in this demo is called ua expect which you can download for free so i'll go ahead and open my ua expect so here i've already added my server by providing its endpoint url which i'll show you in a moment first i'll connect to it okay we've successfully connected so let's go to properties so as you can see here this is the endpoint url that i provided to the ua expect okay so i'll click on cancel now if we go down to the address space here you can see the machine data structure that we created using our opc us server we've got a folder called demonstration inside that folder we've got two folders conveyor system and weighing platform so if i open the conveyor system you see we've got a stepper motor and our stepper motor has motor speed and motor status so here i'll drag the motor speed and the motor status onto our data access view so you can see here our motor speed is currently set at 0 0.5 revolutions per second and the motor status is zero meaning that our motor is currently off so if i go into the weighing platform folder you will see here we've got the load cell and inside the load cell we've got our scale weight so i'll drag that onto our data access view so you can see we're currently reading a weight of 0 0.079 so i'll go ahead and start the stepper motor we can see our motor status change to one we can start to see our weight fluctuating so i'll stop the motor so we've successfully created our opc ua server using node red so if you found this video useful please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to get more iot videos like this as they come out